Hey Royce. Uh, it's a, uh, it's unusual for you to, um, miss shots, uh, especially if you're shooting at a high volume, has there been something that's going on different the last couple of games? No, I think it's just, you know, just me putting a lot of pressure on myself to, you know, make those shots. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, I've been doing this my whole life. So I just need to relax, just have fun with it and be myself. So. Next up, Ryan Miller, KSL. Hey, Royce, just kind of wanted to get your reaction about last night's national championship game. Were you able to watch any of it? And yeah, what, what was, how happy were you? Uh, I was real happy. Uh, I mean, you know, those guys worked hard all year. I mean, I know a couple of those guys from, you know, last time I've been there. Um, so, I mean, those coaching staff, Coach Drew, Coach Tang, Coach New, Coach Jenkins, all those guys, you know, I'm, you know, I'm proud to be a Baylor alumni. And I'm just happy to be able to pull it off. Chris and Kenny, Jazz TV. So, Royce, uh, on the gram lately, I've been seeing some unique outfits from your teammate, Jordan Clarkson, with the orange uh, grandma-looking sweater. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate that look? Uh, I mean, you know, anything Jordan wears, I mean, he's pulling off, you know, real well. I mean, uh, I think his swag is up there, you know, with mine. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to wear some of the stuff that he wears. You know, that's why he's unique and different. But, you know, I love the way Jordan dresses. And, you know, I'm right I'm right there behind him. Eric Walden. Who's the best? Oh, sorry. Who's the best dressed? I mean, you know, I'm going to say myself. But, uh, I mean, Jordan's real close. Uh, you know, Don's getting up there. He's he quietly sneaking up with his, with these fits he got. But, uh, you know, he got a little ways. You know, we all trying to, you know, keep it with Mike, too. You know, Mike secretly has some stuff. You know, he pulls out uh, the closet. So, you know, we just going to keep a competition going and see who's the flies. Eric Walden, so I like to read. Roy, so tomorrow against Phoenix, it's a battle of the, the top team in the Western Conference and the second place team. Obviously, Chris Paul's made a huge difference for the Suns this year, but Aside from CP3, what have you seen differently out of the Suns this season that's that's kind of enabled them to take that next step? I mean, you know, they're a great team, uh, you know, coach really well. I mean, they play physical and aggressive, um, you know, they play fast. So I think we just got to match their intensity. You know, uh, you know, our defense is going to keep us in the games, you know, share the ball on offense, you know, ex execute the game plan that coach has planned for us and then go from there. Dana Green, ABC4. Hey, Royce, I'm curious. Uh, your teammates, are they happy for you that Baylor won it all? Are they jealous? Are you going to hold it over them for a whole year now that you went to the national championship school? Uh, I mean, they're, I mean, they're happy. You know, you know, I think George, George might be a little jealous because, you know, Big 12. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, me and Disney, me and Dennis going to rub it in everybody's face, you know, uh, you know, every day you know, for a little while now, so. Ben Anderson, KSLsports.com. Royce, along those lines, is there a kind of a strong brotherhood among Baylor alumni, especially in the jazz locker room? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, like you said, it's a brotherhood. You know, everybody keeps in contact. You know, everybody, you know, has a piece of this championship. You know, those guys won. So I think, you know, it's just a long time overdue and, and everybody's happy for each other. Follow up from Sarah Todd. Royce, last night, um, Dallas was kind of purposefully giving you quite a bit of room on the three point line. That when you, does that sort of, when they're guarding you that way and it comes off maybe as a little bit disrespectful or they're like not scared of you actually shooting the ball, does that get in your head or uh, how does that impact you? Um, not at all. I mean, if it was the other way, if I would have went eight for eight, you know, I mean, who cares? I mean, it's basketball. It's a up and down game, you know, about percentages. It's a long season. So, I mean, one game is not going to break the whole season or destroy my confidence over what I built this whole time. So, 0 for 8, 8 for 8, 4 for 8, I really don't care. I'm going to keep shooting regardless. Follow up from Dana Green. Royce, this you said it's just you know one game and each game is its own. But uh, one number one against number two, um, they're only two and a half games behind you in the standings with what twenty three games to go. Is that put extra emphasis on this game, or are you just treating it just like another game? 
I mean, it's another game. Uh, you know, we're going to, you know, treat it as if it was a playoff game. You know, I feel like it's going to be a playoff atmosphere. Uh, so, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a regular season game. You know, we're just going to, you know, continue to get better, you know, focus on ourselves, you know, play within ourselves and do what we have to do. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Royce.